Hey YouTube, it's me Christina and I know it's been a while since I've made a video and I do apologize but I had a lot going on so at the time it just didn't make sense to spend my time making videos um, but the, again I do apologize um, I can tell you a little bit about what's been going on October is kind of when I stopped making videos and I did make one for when I was going to take my midterm and I might still post it up. If you guys want me to post it up, just let me know and I will. Because it's still on my computer. It's already edited. Um, and like, after midterms, we, I had like a little bit of a break before. Was it before or after? I can't remember. Whatever. Had my little fall break, which I'm pretty sure I posted a video about. Then I took my midterms, and then we had to start something called preceptorship. Oh, the doorbell's ringing. But, um, no, my dog's working. Sorry. But, um, we had to start preceptorship, but we didn't have to, but we had to do 120 hours in the hospital with a nurse, and I chose to be in the emergency department. And me being the person that I am, I wouldn't just get it out the way as soon as possible. We had until December 5th to finish, but of course I finished the last week. Um, let's see. I, um, don't mind my eyebrows. I, like, really screwed this one up. So, I went to the lady to get it fixed, and, like, this one is a lot thinner than this one, and she told me just to wait a month and let this one grow, and then she'll even them out. So I'm only three and it's like driving me nuts, which is why I'm not wearing any eye makeup. I do have on some mineral skin finish and some blush and um some airy fairy by Rimmel. Probably can't see it. Yeah. This with just some rim gloss over it. Which I like. I think it's pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Oh my god. Forget that. <laughs> um what else? Oh, and like two weeks ago, my little cousins have been staying, well, I guess you can say they moved in to one of the rooms downstairs and they've been staying here. And, you know, we kind of had to take them in given their living circumstance. But, <laughs> to be honest, you guys, I do not deal with the kid is not mine. I just have zero tolerance for laziness and insubordination which is kind of ironic being the fact that my kid is so bossy and so hard headed but yeah so that and then yesterday um i spent the night well monday night i spent the night in the hospital with my friend um she was actually due in a couple of weeks and went to the hospital because she's having bad stomach pain and found out that um her baby had passed and so they had her they induced her and had her deliver him stillborn and if you've never been through an experience like that oh my god like it just it really changes your outlook on life or makes you appreciate life a little bit more because it was so depressing you guys um we knew the baby was gonna be born, still born, but it was some part of her that was wishing that the baby would they be wrong and the baby be alive. But he, he wasn't. And um they let her hold him as long as she wanted to, but it got really sad because um his skin was starting to dry out and he was starting to like bleed from his eyes and stuff and she was like dabbing it, trying to keep him presentable looking and it was really sad. Like, I've known her since I was in seventh grade. I consider them family. Like, her mom is like a second mom to me. Like, if I'm, my mom's in Georgia, so when I got in a car crash um, on the highway, her mom was there for me, came and got me. I mean, they're there for me just like I'm there for them. And I was, it, it was sad. I don't, I don't think I've cried that much in a really long time. So. When I came home yesterday, I was really just weirded out. Um, after, you know, they let you hold on to the baby as long as you want. They can take it down to the morgue, and if you want the baby, we'll bring it back up. 
and I just got kind of sick. Just the, I'm not, I can look at death, and if I go to a funeral, I will look at the person, even my family members, even my grandmother, um, my dad's mom's funeral. I was able to look at her, but I cannot touch. It's just like touching death. I, I can't, I can't do it. So, I couldn't hold the baby or touch the baby. And they were kissing the baby. And it was kind of making me feel nauseous. And, like, I was talking to her sister. Her sister lives in Virginia. And she's not able to come down until tonight. So, she was sad that she couldn't be in. And that's the, um, they're both my best friends or whatever. So, it was just heart-wrenching. And I think it really took a lot out of me. Because when I came home yesterday, I home around 2.30. And I just slept the whole day afterwards, so that was really draining. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit that I wore on Monday, but like all that happened, I ended up spending the night in my clothes and everything, so you'll just see it next time I wear it. I'll go ahead and show you what I have on today, and I guess this will be it. If anybody has any requests for anything that they want me to do, just let me know. But just know that, you know, the videos are probably going to slow down a little bit because I'm just trying to enjoy the holidays with my family and be there for my friends. So, let me show you what I have on. Let me fix what I have on first. Oh, I don't think that. I hate when your pocket shut. It's like so annoying. These pants are almost too tight, which shows I've been gaining weight. <laughs> but, um, I got this little thing like from Forever 21 a long time ago and never really knew how I wanted to wear it. So I just kind of put this belt with it, this skinny belt, and just a plain white shirt that I got from Target like a while ago. And um, it's okay for the fact that I'm not doing anything but taking my daughter to the dentist. So she took her teeth and we're going to go get that fixed. And these are just some jeans. I got some urban outfitters around them. The BDG jeans. They're like really skinny. They're like my first pair of like truly skinny jeans. And these boots that I've showed you guys. They're by the brand Soda. You know, a little cheap shoe company. Whatever. Just some casual boots. And this little necklace is probably, this necklace really isn't necessary, but I feel we need to wear a necklace. And this some black, whatever you want to call these. And like, I always bought these kind of earrings at like, Charlotte Ruse or Fair Between One when they had them in the pack. I think Charlotte Ruse is where I was getting them from. And like, I found these at like the hair supply store, the little local beauty supply store. Of course not here, but in the town where I go to school. So, yeah. And they were like all, all bunches of colors and super cheap. So, got me some of those. And like I said, you guys, sorry, but I will be back. Just let me get my house in order. It's just craziness. But I hope everybody enjoys their Thanksgiving. Hope everybody being blessed and thankful that they are able to spend time with whomever they choose to. Love you guys. Bye-bye.